With the Orioles set to face off in game one of the wild card on Tuesday, they are likely to see a left-handed starter. Either if Detroit wins today, it's going to be Tariq Skubal, or if Kansas City wins today, it is going to be Seth Lugo. Here is going to be my lineup that I would choose against left-handed starter. The most obvious choice is leading off is going to be Gunnar Henderson playing shortstop. Number two, I would go with Ramon Urias. Since August 1st, Ramon is hitting 448 against left-handed pitching with four home runs. Batting third, another obvious choice, I'm going to go with Anthony Santander in right field. Batting fourth, the Mount, Ryan Mountcastle, playing first base. Fifth, another surprise here. I'm going to go with Emmanuel Rivera playing third base. Rivera, just like Urias, is hitting over 360 against left-handed pitching since August 1st, and he's the better glove at third base. Batting six, I'm going to go with Cedric Mullins in center field. I know this seems a little high for Cedric, but he is hitting lefties very well since the start of August. Seventh, I'm going to go with Jordan Westberg at second base. I know Jordan is a right-handed bat. He does struggle a little bit with lefties compared to righties, so I'm going to try to drop him down just a little bit. Eighth, we're going to go with Colton Kowser in right field. I know a lot of people think Slater's probably going to play, but Kowser's actually hitting lefties better than Slater. He provides you a little bit more speed, a better defender, and he also has more home run pop. And then wrapping it up, batting ninth, I'm going to go with James McCann. And I'm saying this because I do think James McCann is the preferred catcher for Corbin Burns. So game one, I think we're going to see James McCann. But don't discredit the fact that James McCann is also hitting 333 since August 1st against left-handed pitching with two home runs. So this kind of seems like out of left field type of lineup here, but I do feel like this gives the Orioles the best chance to move runners around, especially with runners in scoring position, just how they've hit against left-handed pitching this year. It does kind of stack a little bit of the righties in the middle of the lineup, but it also gives you a chance to pinch hit some guys in certain spots late in the game. And you have big bats on the bench like Kerstad. You have speed on the bench like Jackson Holiday. You have another good bat on the bench in Adley Rutschman. You can make moves around. If Scooball has to come out of the game late or whatnot, you, you have a lot of options here with this type of lineup. This might be a little oddball for some people, and that's okay. But if you have a different lineup in mind, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll catch you later, and let's go O's.